The Lincoln County School District is doubling down on its position to tax wildfire victims looking to rebuild. It's not budging and claims other districts break the law by providing a waiver. That means neighbors like John Parrott will have to pay a $2,000 new construction tax, even though he and his family are simply replacing their Otis home lost in the Echo Mountain fire. You know, I'm living in the trailer. It's going to be 33 degrees tonight. They need to come out here and help us, not be charging people. You know, my insurance was only going to cover about two thirds of what I had. Okay, and I had to fight for that. And they want to get $2,000 out of me on top of that. You know, it's ridiculous. The Lincoln County School District claims its hands are tied. Board members have said repeatedly and publicly they want to help, but can't. State law allows districts to charge a construction excise tax if they choose. The tax money helps accommodate growth so districts can pay for larger classrooms and improved buildings. Lincoln County Superintendent Karen Gray says she's been advised by State Representative David Gomberg districts do not have the discretion to waive the tax based on his conversations with legislative counsel. But others disagree, including a former state senator who helped write the law in 2007. I'd just be really disappointed and surprised if they charged the wildfire victim that's trying to rebuild this fee um, because it'd be relatively easy for them not to do it. Our investigation found other school districts provide waivers. The North Santa Am School District waived its construction taxes for wildfire victims with a simple vote. You know, it certainly can be done. Any, any district can waive it. In a statement, Lincoln County Superintendent said, we are 100 percent for getting exceptions due to natural hazards and stand ready to do that. But we cannot until we get legal permission to do so. The board cannot be asked to break the law even if other districts do so. Representative Gomberg is drafting legislation to help clear up confusion, allowing districts to waive construction taxes for disaster victims retroactively. But there's no guarantee when or if it will pass. If they're trying to rebuild their lives like me and Ashley are over there, then they need to help us. For wildfire victims, there's no time to wait. They need help now. Everything's gone. The only thing left on my property was sheet metal. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.